Well, Maidenhead under Alan Devonshire, a club who keep on defying the odds, proving people wrong. Gateshead went from the brink of extinction in 2019 to league champions. These are two football clubs full of fight, full of character. And let's hope, Adam, that they produce a good game for us today. Well, certainly, styles make matches, and you certainly look at the way that these two do play. Be really interesting. I think the way the gates have started this season. I don't, as you mentioned, as Mike was saying to Jeff before the start of the game. I don't think their performances have warranted the points that they've had on the board. I mean, they do look so good going forward, and I think it's always been a feature, especially from last season as well, despite the change in personnel. Ferdinand, upward. Clarima. Aqua. Pequa, Nathaniel George. Heavy touch there by Campbell. Kobe Arthur, oh, he's found a way through. Arthur! He did so well till the finish. No, he did do that. It's really important that when you get in that position there, you just need to slow down and just have a tiny bit more composure. Ball was set there nicely for him to get that shot towards goal. Just blasted really out of control with that one. Certainly made Nets 1 0 win over Woking. Was much needed for them. Ended a five game winless streak. Smith. Save. Was comfortable in the end, but a good burst forward there by Reece Smith. Samuel uh, George on the left hand side of him. He just looked up. He was in absolute acres of space there. Blackett chasing this and he got to it as well. It was cleared by De Havilland and it came to Oli. And he did well and the shots was good too and on target needed dealing with that effort from Adam Campbell. Nice save from Giola. Yeah, he done really well there Campbell because he had to get the chest down and take the shot on really, really quickly. This is his fifth season running with Gateshead, having initially joined them as a player. This is his fourth season as a manager. I had an interview with him where he talked about how his dad sadly passed away partway through last season, said he needed some brief time away from the club. He talked about how the support he had, he'll always remember. Here's Blackett, that's a great ball over, and it's an opener. Taken so well. Dan Ward it was, arriving in the box. Blackett was happy to run the channels, he always is, but he's put over a great cross there. Question marks over the defending, though, from Maitner. Well, this is what happens when you are in topping games, but you lose concentration at the back. We knew that Gateshead were going to play the counter-attacking game. It's a really, really tight call. I'm not too sure from that angle. But Blackett unselfishly plays it early. When I saw the ball, you say, got to play it early. Can't afford to take a touch set. And he does it absolutely brilliantly. Looks up there, sees where Ward is. It's a tidy little cutback and it's a tidy, tidy finish. Alan Demish is trying to claim the offside. With the players that he's got here at his disposal, I think they could be a side that will certainly creep up the table very, very quickly. Kobe Arthur. Seems to be caught there by Carl Magne. Yellow card for the Gateshead centre back. Certainly one of the easy decisions for Jamie Durkin to be given this afternoon. It's the first time really we've seen Kobe Arthur just maybe just come in on the line and just be a little bit more selfish and drive towards that Gateshead defence. Drawing in the foul. It's left by upwards. Shot by Kapekwe. All over the wall. Clarima. Can Gateshead counter here? There's the opportunity to do so. Campbell's very much on his way. If 
Ward sees him, he goes to the other side instead. And look how many are getting forward here for Gateshead. It's another ball over towards Blackett this time, and Massey had to stick it behind for a corner. It's Greg Olley who's gone across to take this. Short it goes. Campbell. Magne is a long way forwards. Ollie with the cross. Decent effort that from Ethan Pyatt, just maybe slightly behind him. I think that's maybe he could have done the be best of a difficult situation there. To really get his head across to that left hand side and try and guide it towards goal. Gates had a goal to the good. And off the head of Pai and the goalkeeper just about. Got enough on that. It's a little bit unorthodox, wasn't it, from Dan Langley? Capequa. Nathaniel George, plenty of stayed forward here for the Magpies. Capequa. On the... On behind in the end. Smith, it was arriving at that back post. A decent ball there from Capequa to the far post. Just looking at the body language there of Smith to have a little bit more belief to go and attack that one. He just did enough there. Oh, I say he's hardly really had a touch in the game. He's hardly had any opportunity to hold the ball up in the final third. Arthur, Nathaniel George, Clarima. If they hit back before the break here, Maidenhead. It's another good block by Luke Daly, who stopped plenty of crosses down that right-hand side. Clarima. Upward. Clarima. Nice turn by Remy Clarima, who goes on. Missed one across the six-yard box there. It's not a bad ball, really, but there's only Aqua inside the six-yard box. And they've had to do well to get on the end of that one. Absolutely blasted across. I think you're disappointed in those one-on-one -on -one areas, defending-wise, Daly there, just really just sticking in the foot. You can see what he's trying to do. He's trying to put it across that area. You can see Aqua just making the run across. I'm saying that training had gone well of late. Mike Williamson described the past seven days as a learning week. Said they needed to strip things back and go back to what they're all about. Said they needed to show up and enjoy the battle today. We say that is the case. Clifton, who returned to York Road over the summer, is going to be coming on shortly. He'll give them a, maybe a bit more presence and movement up top. Nathaniel George. Opened up for the shots. Touch wide by Dan Langley. Better that for Maidenhead. It's almost like they just need to wake up a bit here, the home side. They're capable of much more. Yeah, I mean, just haven't really shown too much positivity in that final third. It's an awkward save, wasn't it? It just uh, wasn't really the best shot there from Nathaniel George. On the but it's one of those bobbly ones that the goalkeeper didn't take any chances with. Mikulski is waiting in the box here. It's worked to Smith. Well, Aqua did well there out wide. Mikulski was waiting in the area. The pass instead to Smith, and it nearly came off. And it's probably their best period of the game so far, made in heads. A bit more belief now in that final third. The changes down in Devonshire made at half time. Certainly a weapon they have in their armory, the throw-ins of Clarima. Reach somebody here. And upward hit it. It's on target. Watched all the way, though, by Langley. It didn't really have the pace to trouble him. Not really, but it's one of those ones that you sometimes hit back into a body of players. If someone's ready for it. See Clifton coming back in offside. Well, they proved a lot of people wrong last season, didn't they, in winning the National League North title. They were... 10-1 to, to win it as uh, 
far into the season as November. Of course, even greater odds when that season began. Mikulski. Sani couldn't take it off him. Oli chips it forward. Blackett could do with a bit of support. That's arriving as well. He'll go on his own and forces a good save from Giola. He had Bailey making the run into the box. Ferdinand. Frustration for Blackett. It's the first time, really, we've seen him in this position in the second half. The pace against the two centre halves you're going to have every time. I think he was a little bit too selfish there, and I think the cutback, as you mentioned, to Bailey was certainly the best ball forward. Clifton. It's football for a fiver today at York Road, looking to get more youngsters into the ground was the aim of that, and the attendance. Just over 2,000, 2,060 today, which I know the club will be pleased with. They're actually hoping to move to a new purpose-built community stadium, Maidenhead, eventually, but he's encountering one or two planning issues. Hopes for a new stadium. Here's uh, Blackett. Oh, and Oli! Surely! No! What a chance to make it too for the skipper. Campbell. Hassani. Such a good chance that for Gateshead. The importance of that miss. Certainly, time will tell with that one. Really, really well. He gets there first with the first little ball there, and this time, like it does put him in. Nathaniel George takes it. Clarima got a touch to that. And Mikulski! Good opportunity. And they did well because they kept the pressure on by winning the second phase of play. Clifton gets there first, they head it back into an area. Turns Tinkler nicely. The angle's always going to be working against him. Just really there. Quality and luck in front of the goal at the minute. Well, they see it through. Mike Williamson sides. Only their second win of the season. Their first away from home in the National League in 10 games. It's a precious three points. I deserve three points, really, as well, in terms of chances created. Dan Ward with the only goal of the game after really good play by the hard-working Paul Blackett. It's the, one of their longest trips of the season, this, but it's been well worth it for Mike Williamson and co. And they head back to the northeast.